Yeah, hello there. We are here today to take this beast apart. The boombox too. And we are going to do a full teardown. Just rip it apart into every single piece. Now, so you may wonder how they did this here, why it has those big ears on there. Um, I do think that is because you have to have to grab something in order to twist this off. This ring there, right? And then under this ring, there is six tiny little screws there. They are very easy to break. So if you have your screwdriver there and it doesn't fit 100% in those screws, you will just tear them apart. You will never get them back in, you have to be super careful. Here again, those two ears. That's where you hold and twist left. That's the other side, and then... We're gonna fast forward again here. Six of those... screws on there. And really, you need a screwdriver that absolutely fits in there. When you have those screws off, you can take a ring off, and then you have six more screws, like a larger size. We have those on both sides. And when you have those off, you can just bend this thing open. Just pull on both sides and lift it up. There we go, that's how quick we get this handle out. I lost one of the tiny screws. Fell in there. So that is the handle. It's a nice handle. Yeah, I'm gonna put this back on there later again. And then we take the grill off go in between here like all the other speakers lift it up and unplug it there it goes and we have four Phillips screws here regular size I put them all on uh, my mat here there's two on each side left and to right. There we go. It's hard to get off. I think that the foot on here on the bottom is holding it back a little. So what they do is they put the grill on, and then once the grill is on, then they put the foot on there. Okay, let's take the drivers out. There's four Phillips to hold the driver in. The driver has a silicone seal around it. That is, it's heavy. A huge driver. very magnetic so keep the screws away from it and that we don't damage those tweeters here to be careful taking the screws out and I'm taking the tweeters out to not accidentally damage them I do this fast I don't know if you see this in fast forward but I dropped one on the floor not so good shouldn't do that. Here we have the first peak inside. The foot down here is rattling. You look at this thing, how far it goes out and in. Look at that. Wow, that is excursion, my friends. Yeah, the passive radiator here on the left. And in order to get the battery out, you have to take both out very clean in there. Much cleaner than the old one. Looks like there's more space in there. Yeah, it's 
all glued in that it doesn't fall off when you throw this thing around. Okay, so I take the other passive radiator off in order to get to the battery better. All those are with silicone seals in there to keep it waterproof. So then we have the battery has three screws on each side, a little lid on the battery area there. And you have to push it out, it's pretty tight in there. And when I look at this pack here, there is eight, 18, 650 batteries in here. Right. And that is like completely taken apart. I thank you guys for watching. Out of eight, eighteen six fifty batteries.